So this x-ray right here, what are we looking at here in this photo? Well, that is a front foot. Okay. A front right. And, uh, you know, the, the feet are long. The shoes were probably too small when they were put on. They're fit out to the toe. And if you drop a line from that uh, joint, next joint down. Okay. Find about the middle of the joint, give or take. Uh -huh. And drop, just drop a line straight down. And look where your base of support is way out in front of the foot. You've got about 80% of the right. shoe in front of this line and 20% in the back. Right. And the shoes are still on. They would probably done this guy a favor if they had come off. Because at this point, they're doing a lot more damage than they ever did any good. And, 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 and I don't know what's or why they did what they did, but the, these shoes have a lot of traction on them. And uh, I don't know what the purpose of that was, because sometimes you can create a lot of damage by too much traction. You can create damage by not properly fitting a shoe. Oops, I think it went twice on it. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. All so right. there is also a DP, and we're looking at the joint alignment. And... Uh, it looks pretty straight up and down. Yeah, that does not look terrible. But there's just so much foot on this guy. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to switch over to this one here. Right. There's your hind foot. That's the worst foot on the horse. Jesus. And uh, the other hind foot, the pastern kind of looks like a DSLD horse dropping. And I don't know. The, the question is, did they decide not to do much on this foot and get a foot on because the horse didn't want to stand on the other? Or, or what, because there's just a tremendous amount of foot here.